within physics, you've got to look around for opportunities. And if at first you think, okay, I'm not qualified, be willing to take something that's not exactly what you want to do, but might give you an appropriate skill set. So initially I was on the BSc and didn't really have any intentions of pursuing physics as an academic career. It wasn't really anything on the internet I was interested in, but Persevere sort of checked back once a month. And then around December time, a placement in France um, opened up, but I didn't really feel I was eligible to apply for it. So I applied to something in Germany, hosted at Forschungszentrum Jülich in Aachen, and they're basically a huge supercomputing department that goes across biology, chemistry, and physics, and they've won a couple of Nobel Prizes. So I thought, okay, that sounds cool. Had the experience of Easter in Germany, and then following the experience that I'd gained, I was able to take the prerequisites that they required and made my application to the Institut La Langeva. It's an international research centre, which is in Grenoble, France, and it's quite commonly called the ILL. It has one of the strongest neutron facilities in the world, so it's a reactor core, and there are about 56 different beam lines that run different experiments. So it ranges from industrial applications such as testing aeroplane wings for density and strength, etc., to biomedical physics. And I was basically interning with a professor there, writing programs that would contribute towards his research. When I was a second year looking for these placements, I thought the system was very rigid. If you wanted to do a PhD, say in polymer science, that's an arbitrary example, that you had to do a master's in polymers and you had to have internship in polymers and that your whole knowledge and understanding of physics had to be polymer-based. And it's really not the case. It's much more about transferable skills, which is one of those buzzwords, be that programming, be that mathematical ability, be it simulations or modelling, albeit you know, language. I wasn't interested really in condensed matter physics, which is what I was doing in Germany, but it was the supercomputing aspect that has meant on my CV, you know, I can say, I'm actually quite good with computers, hire me. And then getting a placement in France, also with programming. And I've built a repertoire of skills, mostly around computation, so like Python, MATLAB, SQL. So don't be scared off by a placement that's in a topic that you're not necessarily familiar with, or that isn't exactly what you want to do, because it isn't really about saying everything I've done in my career is on this one subject. It's about saying, actually, you know what, I can tell you that I'm good and I have a reason to say why. In interviews, I definitely think it's that confidence that gets you the job in the end.